Hi. Hi. Hello, so who are you? Uh, my name is Damien. I work for All Winner Technology. Uh, and we're here today at our Is this an All Winner bike? It's not officially an All Winner bike. Uh, it is my transport to work every day. That's awesome. Okay, let's go. Let's go inside. Okay, so this is our new headquarters. Yeah. Uh, in Zhuhai. So how far do you live from here? Uh, about five minutes. Five minutes. minutes away. So how many people work at the All Winner headquarters? Uh, about 600 to 700 people. And uh, you, do you work on marketing? Uh, yeah, I work in the marketing and business development department. All right. So, so uh, there's a lot of business to develop here, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, all winner work with a lot of partners. Uh, we work with international partners and also Chinese partners. So uh, there's a lot of business development to be done. Uh, a lot of sort of partnership meetings and uh, things like that. All right. Is it cool to work here in Zhuhai? It's very cool. Uh, China is a very interesting place. Uh, there's a lot going on in Zhuhai and in Guangzhou and Shenzhen. All right. uh, so it's an exciting time to be at All Winner. Hey! Hello. Hi, this is Eva from All Winner. Nice to meet you again. It's very cool to see your new building. Uh -huh. how, how long time have you had this building? Uh, more, than, more than one year. Uh, more than one year, right? More than one year. Uh -huh. Hey! Hey, hello, you? hello. I'm a, uh, I'm a software engineer in All Winner. I have been here for four years. And nice to see you. So uh, software engineers, very important job, right? Right. Is the most important guys? Uh, no, actually, all the guys in our, in our company are important. <laughs> but uh, software, is it more, uh, is like a, a CPU is basically is just software, right? Or uh, how does it work? Uh, actually, it's, uh, for Warner, I think uh, we more focus on a solution from the, per, from the software perspective. I think uh, for some of the software engineers, uh, their job is, is primarily how to make the, the, the hardware uh, run properly, and then we put the operating system like Linux, Android, or, 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 or something like that. So, how many software engineers here? Um, maybe uh, 200. 200, and then some hardware engineers, and then uh, only software, software. And there's 200. also hardware, and right. a lot of people. A lot of people here. So yes. cool. How many floors do you have? Uh, we have five floors here. So, as you can see, this is our reception area. Um, and if we go this way, we can head into our canteen. Uh, we also cool. have like a little fountain and, and water area uh, nice. where you can sort of sit and relax. What does it say so. in Chinese here? Can you read? <laughs> no? <laughs> you speak Chinese? Idi Indian, a little, a little. Indian, Indian. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's a lot about of... the extent of my Chinese. And you, you from uh, where in uh, the UK? I'm from near Birmingham, a place called Worcestershire. Worcestershire. So if you're familiar with Worcestershire sauce. So how, do you, how did, it, how did uh, all winner find you? Uh, I've been living in China for about five years. Uh, so before I was living in another region of China uh, and then I saw this opportunity at All Winner. Currently they're growing as you can see from the building, uh, taking on a lot of new staff. Are there any animals in here? Crocodile. Oh, I can see a crocodile. Yeah, this is where we feed the employees. They do a good job. They yeah. end up in here. Yep. Yeah. Um, and the partners that don't, uh, you know, that don't follow yeah, through? Yeah, they don't. Yeah, I mean, they're the, that's, where, that's where you end up. So. All right. Um, Let's go around so here. just through here we have a staff canteen. So yeah. it's lunchtime at All Winner. So as you can see, it's it's fairly hectic. But yeah, this is where all our engineers, all our staff come for lunch every day. Uh, so there's a choice of mainly, obviously, Chinese food. Nice. Only Chinese food. No burgers. No burgers, unfortunately. Just spaghettis. If you like noodles, noodles, spaghetti, kind of similar. Rice. Uh, There's a lot of rice, right? A lot of rice, yeah. But actually, Chinese food is the best in the world. What do you think? It's better than uh, Scottish food or something. Yeah, maybe better than Scottish food. Uh, sometimes it's good. It's maybe an acquired taste. It's a little bit different to like Chinese food in the West. Okay. Uh, so, you guys, you can see so a lot of staff, everyone having lunch. Everybody's a uh, engineer. Not all engineers, but most of those are engineers. Um, cool. Maybe we have some people from marketing, also from HR department. Uh, they all come here for lunch. So. It's kind of like the Google of China, right? All these people are the best in, uh, in China, right? We try. We, yeah. try. we try to build that also kind of positive work environment. Uh, we try to have nice facilities, make it a nice place for the staff to spend time. Uh, obviously, in technology, our staff are quite important. So we want to encourage them to, to work for us. And obviously, part of that is having good facilities. All right. So I can show you some more of those facilities as we go through the building. So what's, what's going on over here? What's all this stuff? Uh, so these are just the different floors. Uh, the second floor tends to be focused for HR and finance. Uh, and then the third and fourth floors are more engineering floors. 
Uh, and the fifth floor, that's kind of our recreation area uh, where we have sort of a sports hall, a gym and a library. So we can go up there and have a look. All right. So here we just have some meeting rooms. Uh, if we have some partners come, uh, we hold some meetings in these rooms. Uh, also some, some hardware area. All right. You have lots of meetings every day? Uh, yeah, there are a lot of meetings in Orwinner. Uh, people are always taking sort of conference calls or, or having various meetings. Uh, also a lot of travel involved at Orwinner. Um, so do, do partners fly to Hong Kong airport and take a boat to come here? Yeah, normally you, you can work? fly to Hong Kong or you can fly to Guangzhou and Shenzhen. Uh, and then it's about an hour and a half on the boat. There's not a Zhuhai airport, no? There is an airport in Zhuhai, but it's quite far. It's maybe an mm -hmm. hour and a half from here. Uh, and it's not the best airport in the world. Okay. Uh, the last time I flew, there were a fair few delays. Uh, so we tend to use Hong Kong or Guangzhou. So there's a lot of uh, things happening in Albany, right? Is it uh, going to be busy uh, the rest of the year and uh, next year? It's always a lot of things happening <laughs> yeah? at Albany. Yeah. Uh, and everything projects. secret? Most things are secret, uh, except for obviously what we release, sort of press release wise. All right. So are you doing the press releases? Uh, yeah, I am responsible for sort of press releases at Albany. It's part of my job. Are you trying to make them different than other press releases or it has to follow the rules of how do you write everything? Yeah, normally there's sort of a set structure for that. So you're sort of restricted to what kind of words you can use uh, okay. uh, and what you can say in the press release. All right, cool. So that's a nice elevator here. <laughs> yeah. What does it say here? Run faster than the competitor? <laughs> no? Maybe Martin can explain that one for you. So it's hard to explain. Maybe you are. I don't know. <laughs> this is the same? Oh, it's communication. Communication, that's that's right. a good one. Right. Is it so here? We have one more floor. One it's more? Okay. Floor. Fifth floor. Okay, uh, there's still a secret floor here. Yeah, this is still our engineering floor. No, maybe mm -hmm. run fast and the communication. Run fast. Yeah. <laughs> so these are our inspirational marketing words for our, for our staff. Cool. Do you make them up? Uh, obviously not the Chinese not ones, yet. no. Uh, that's more Eva's department. Right. Um, so here we have the fifth floor. Yeah. So uh, this is sort of a space we try and encourage our staff to use, uh, to relax, to hang out. Uh, at lunchtime, people like to sleep up here. Nice. Is there like sleeping time in the middle of the day? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little bit different to a Western company. Uh, we, we sort of, most people tend to go to sleep after lunch. Yeah. So maybe from about sort of 20 past 12 till 1 o'clock, uh, people like to have a little nap. Um, so here you can see the, the technology park. Who's the other guys here? Where are you uh, going on? Over here is Action Technology, uh, just in that building there. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously we have another technology company based in this area. So this industrial estate tends to just be for tech companies. Is this a rice field? Yeah, they're actually building another technology park over here, uh, encouraging more technology companies to locate in Zhuhai. Like Google maybe might come here. <laughs> well, Google's still not available in China, so... But maybe they'll get a deal with the... Yeah, maybe so, they will. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, I think in Zhuhai they're trying to sort of make it a little bit sort of sim similar to Silicon Valley in the US uh, and locate technology companies here because it's close to Guangzhou, close to Shenzhen, so sort of the manufacturing ecosystem is nearby. Uh, Zhuhai tends to be a bit, a bit cleaner, a bit greener uh, than the other cities. It's beautiful, no? Yeah, it's Zhuhai. nice. Um, so there's less pollution and uh, things right. like that. So I think it's quite a good place to have our headquarters located. Uh, rather than the hustle and bustle. Like and actually, that. compared to Silicon Valley, here is real silicon. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's <laughs> silicon Valley is just iPhone apps. It's true. Yeah, we actually have sort of the epicenter of the hardware world, which is only an hour away. Um, so where are we going now? Uh, this is Owner's library. Uh, so we hold talks here. Maybe we do some presentations. Right. Um, okay. Sometimes people are sleeping in here. All right. Are we waking up somebody? So libraries. Yeah. Is it all books about programming uh, ARM CPUs? Uh, yeah, it's a mix of books. Um, some are technology, some are just some, some magazines. Uh, sometimes if we go to technology shows, maybe we bring back some magazines or something like that just to put in here so the staff can read those. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a nice relaxed space for people to hang out after work. And you have a basketball uh, hall outside. Yeah, what, what, we what have kind a of very big activities do you have? Sports hall. Uh, you don't expect to see it when you go through this door. Uh, but it's quite a big space for people to hang out after work, play sport, play pool. Um, also, we have a small gym. Uh, yeah. So, like I say, staff and 
Uh, the quality of the work environment is quite important at all winner. You have cricket? <laughs> you can play cricket if you like, but uh, it's not that popular. Ah, oh, badminton. Cool. Is that for baseball in there? Yeah, I'm not sure what goes on in there. Uh, obviously, it's for for someone hitting balls, I yeah. imagine. And the ping pong and the pool. Yeah, I, I think it's quite a nice space for people to come and relax. Nice. Are you good at badminton? I'm not bad, actually. Uh, so actually, you, you do win over a few of the games? Uh, sometimes, yeah, right. on a good day. Okay, that's great. So that's uh, Olympics, uh, kind of. From and what can we go over there um, to see that side? Yeah, I mean you can have a look. Is that uh, oh, winner building number two? They're building yeah. right there. Unfortunately not. Over here is a very interesting building, uh, but I'm not sure what that plan is. They haven't quite finished it yet. Is it a church? I think they were going to sell wine and alcohol, um, mm. but development sort of stopped. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, oh. But as you can see, there's a lot of development here. Uh, it's always like that in China. Uh, it's still growing quite rapidly. So you can see here, probably in the next 12 months, we'll have a, another complex built near Orna. Oh, really? Yeah. Which, this part over there? Yeah, this part here will be a, a large... Right there? Yeah. It's going to be Orna or what? It's not Orna, no, it's just another technology company will probably okay. uh, locate here. So they're, they're trying to zone this area just for technology companies. Uh, like I say, they also have another area zoned for that about a mile away. Uh, where they're encouraging new technology companies to set up. So that was awesome. And uh, so maybe in the future, we'll see what happens, but maybe in the future we can film the, the secret floors. The secret floors, yeah. We'll see, it's, there's, some, there's a lot of secret stuff happening, but when it gets released, then maybe we'll see what happens in the future. Or maybe you'll release some more behind the scenes because it's awesome to, I mean, this building is fantastic, right? Yeah, it's a very cool building. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good place for staff to work. And also for me, coming from a Western company, I worked for Western companies before, uh, and the facilities are not as good as they are sort of at all winner, um, in my experience working at China. Uh, so I think a lot of people don't realize just how far the sort of Chinese technology industries come. Maybe people still have the images of sort of Chinese people slaving away at Foxconn, making cell phones or whatever. Um, but actually China's evolving quite quickly and moving into innovation uh, and also improving its standards. Uh, so like I say, it's a very relaxed working environment here. And uh, uh, I mean, the old winner is the winner in the tablet market for the last three, four years. Yeah. But there's so many more things happening now. There's IoT, there's yeah. VR, there's... Uh, there's lots of opportunities in making consoles and other stuff. There, there's going to be lots of different opportunities. Yeah, I think, like you say, sort of all winner had success in the tablet market. Obviously, that market is a little bit in decline now. So we're trying to move our focus away and sort of diversify our products into different markets. Things like, like you mentioned, IoT or VR. Or, Remix laptops. Yeah, they're quite exciting new product at the moment. Um, I think that's a good example of where the industry is going as well. Sort of people moving away from, I don't know, like that traditional Windows kind of setup to a more mobile sort of familiar feel. Uh, so I think migrating that mobile phone experience onto desktop is working quite well, uh, as opposed to sort of migrating the desktop experience onto mobile phones. That's been a little bit more difficult. So, so I think Remix is quite exciting product. That's awesome. And I'm really looking forward. I hope I can find the cool stuff's happening and make videos about it. Yeah, we can, we can set you up with some technology. We have some demos here, some Remix laptops, also some VR devices for you to try and have a look at. So there's a lot of exciting things coming out of Guangzhou and Shenzhen at the moment. Cool. Let's play badminton. Yeah, you will. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I can show